This is a Yamaha BB1100S bass. Its owner made it fretless when he was a teenager, inspired by Jacko. He filled the fret slots with wood filler, and it's not very pretty. Let's see if I can make it better. First, I'll remove the neck. Now I need to remove all the wood filler from the slots. A tedious task indeed. As you can see, some of the top slots are already fixed. I did that as a test before I do the process on the entire fingerboard. Now I clean the fingerboard and especially the fret slots with naphtha. A simple toothbrush is very useful for this. Filling the slots with some beechwood veneer, it has a lighter color than the rosewood so the fret positions will still be visible. I use extra thin super glue for this process. After the glue is set, I'm taking a very sharp chisel to trim off the excess veneer. After that is done, I'm performing a light sanding with 400 grit and a radius block. That is for leveling the fingerboard but also in order to create wood dust. The wood dust will help fill the holes that were created during the fret pulling. Now I dab a little extra thin super glue. The super glue together with the wood dust will create a filling that is in the same color as the fingerboard. After that is dry, I use a scraper to remove the excess glue. Some of the holes were deeper than others, so I repeat the process one more time. I leave it at that so as to not remove too much of the fingerboard. After the second filling is done, I sand the fingerboard again, and now I go up to a thousand grit. I clean the fingerboard again with some naphtha, and after that I condition it with lemon oil.
Now it's time to take care of the electronics, mainly the output jack. I eventually replaced the battery connection as well, but that was off camera. Bridge and the saddles needed a thorough cleaning as well. It's time for final assembly and setup. The truss rod nut was a bit worn out, so I had to make a washer for it. Maybe I'll elaborate in a future video. Besides that, I'm editing this video about a year after filming it, so the only sound sample that I have of this bass is this one, with the radio on in the background.